As we have learned, the age we live in is dominated by both severe challenges and serious innovations. We have learned that we are at a crossroads. The time is now for a big shift in thinking. India needs to pave a new path towards zero. This series is a unique initiative by Times Now in association with DuPont. Each week, we will showcase a particular field like agriculture, nutrition, renewable energy, and healthcare. We will explore how the crisis within these fields are being met by certain companies and individuals who are devising scientific solutions. We will introduce you to the modern age Aryabhats who are breaking the mold and doing their bit to make the lives of those around them better. And to do that, many of these innovators are drawing from India's unparalleled knowledge power, tapping into one of our most plentiful resources. World today knows India for its knowledge power. The IT revolution has created that image. Some various foreign co companies began to recognize India's uh, potential. It came as a surprise to them also that the brains are here. And so there are international R&D centers set up by Maruti Suzuki by Hyundai for focusing on small cars. General Electric came with one of its global centers set up in Bangalore. Uh, on the software side, a very large number of people said, the talent is here, the brains are here. They've all come here. So yeah, a lot of R&D has taken off in India after liberalization for these reasons. But all this innovation won't mean a thing if it does not address economic development. Because in order to avoid the double-edged sword of development, we have to innovate for our entire population, not just the ones who can afford it. But do it now, don't do it any later. We should also, as I told you earlier, underline this, the importance of linking science and development with economic development. The two actually go together. And unless we see them as conjoint processes, we will not be able to help our country very much. But innovation isn't just as easy as turning on a switch. And it takes more than just technology. It takes courage. Courage to be different. Courage to question the status quo courage to go against the grain. Think for yourself, find out solutions to problems, inquire why not, rather than just accept the answer which is. And I think that is the way innovation happens. Innovation happens by not accepting what is there, when saying, no, I believe something could be better. Over the next 15 weeks, we'll take you on a journey of courageous individuals and companies who have taken that leap of faith and are believers in the power of science and technology on everything from renewable energy. We identified that, that the bulk of, prob of the problems in rural electrification lie with power distribution. It's the last mile uh, distribution of power where majority of the losses in our country happen to zero waste. End of life electronic products are not only waste, but they are also really hazardous for the environment, right? And we found out that a lot of children and women are working in this sector to actually take out whatever material is possible and they dump the rest of it. So it's a health impact, it had a environmental impact and it had a social impact on it, right? To clean automotive technologies, Already, 50% of our cities have emission levels above standards that we need to have. More than one-fifth of deaths today are being caused, premature deaths, due to pollution. So we have to think, what are we living, leaving for our future generations? To zero milk shortage. Green fodder is not available all through the year and we need to have consistency of quality to have the milk supply all the time, all through the year. These inspiring stories will open India's eyes to how science can rediscover the power of zero 
in the 21st century. Very simply, the power of Shunya would mean that there should not be a single baby out there who should die needlessly. This pack, what you see, has got zero adulteration, 100% zero adulteration, and no wastage, no spoilage. Here, what we aspire is lesser energy consumption, lesser water consumption, and uh, you know, uh, better efficiencies in this whole process. So our aspiration in this manufacturing unit is to have virtually zero uh, losses. We have a firm belief that we can strive to and achieve the goal of Shunya, which is zero accidents in the workplace. Zero inspires creativity. Zero inspires improvement. Zero inspires us. For the next 15 weeks, we will walk together on this journey, on this quest as we come face to face with some of India's brightest minds who are working together on the quest for zero. If you too have a scientific innovation that can solve some of the challenges we are facing today, you can write in to us at powerofshunya13timesgroup.com. This could earn you a chance to feature on this show. Until next week then, this is Anupam Kher saying goodbye. Coming up next week, on the power of Shunya, quest for zero. Did you know India has the honor of being the largest producer of milk in the world? However, the amount of milk that is wasted each year is said to be equal to the total milk produced in the European Union. Next week, we bring you face to face with companies that are working towards minimizing this monumental wastage in India's dairy sector. Thank you.